Isaiah chapter 3 verse number 16 interesting little thing here moreover the Lord saith because the daughters of Zion are haughty pride destruction high-minded and walk with stretched forth necks mm. look who I am those people and wanton eyes now, that's not the kind of thing you get at the Chinese restaurant that is wandering or in sport interesting little definition there wanting or in sport diamonds are a girl's best friend walking and mincing oh they had that word for the new Bibles walking and mincing as they go you know God doesn't paint anything he just tells you like it is that's why people don't read the Bible imagine an elegant woman reading this and making a tinkling with their feet sharp sound we got bracelets little can't think of the name of that little drum symbol so you know that chapter 3 of Isaiah is not very familiar not very well known and not very accepted among the now women therefore I bet you this this by hasn't been read in most churches and I don't know how long therefore the Lord will smite with a scab Ooh. You read what is it? Is it Leviticus 13 and 14 and Deuteronomy 13 and 14 about the leprosy and the scab. Scab in, in, the, in the Old Testament would be something that's unclean, written to people of Judah in Jerusalem. The crown of the head of the doors of Zion. Jewish. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. Job was struck in the head. The Antichrist is going to be struck in the head. Goliath got something in his head. Samson and Absalom had a great head of hair. And one of the things with the leprosy, if he had a, a, a scab in his scalp, Ezekiel 16 37 discover their secret part you know what that is you know women for years have been relating their secret parts on television and, and magazines of God just Ezekiel 16 37 I didn't say that already in that day wow in that day is interesting three Three words. The Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet. Well, the women are brave. I mean, we just read last night that they're leaders. God will take away the twinkling, twink, tinkling, I won't say twinkling, tinkling of the ornaments about their feet. So they wear things to make them be sounded. You know a lie that people say when the priest went in, you know, they would tie a rope to his feet. And no, 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 no. You know what they're imitating here? Didn't the high priest had bells and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, and a bell and a pomegranate? They're copying the high priest. Ding, 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 ding. And they're called, and that's a, where is it? that's a net. And they're round tires like the moon. It's a hairstyle. The chain and the bracelets and the muffler, neck, ear muff. The bonnets, the ornaments of the legs. So not just the things that make twinkling sounds or the 
but of the legs. Fishnet stockings. And the headbands. And the tablets. And the earrings. The ring. The nose jewelry. And the changeable suits of apparel. The closet full of them. And the mantles. And the wimples. That's a purse. And the crisping pins. Now, you ever want to get anybody on an, Bible question trivia? What's a crisping pin? It's a curling iron. Fix the hair. The glasses. Now, that wouldn't be glasses that you wear on your nose. That would be a mirror. Job 37, 18. Or glass beads. And the fine linen. And the hoods. And the veils. Wow. I want to go back to this real quick again before we finish the chapter. Um, verse 18. <clears throat> Show you something interesting here. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their twinkling, twinkling ornaments. And that would, you know, they make sounds with their feet. Okay, about their feet. And they're cold. And they're round tires. Goodyear. Michelin. Like the moon. Early cars, they used to have, when they had the roof, they have a little round window in the back that looked like a moon, a crescent moon. Or they even would have round windows in the back, older cars. Back when my parents were. Their cars. The chains. Called a timing chain. And the bracelets. I could think of something uh, on an engine that would not by name, but but and the mufflers. <laughs> mufflers for exhaust. Midas muffler. The king with the golden touch. The bonnets, that's another name of old cars that my parents done. The ornament of the legs. Uh, clutch, brake, gas, old time starters. The headband. Car would be called the header. The head. Where the muffler attaches. And the tablets. And earrings. The rings. Piston rings. Hmm. Nose jewels. The changeable suits of apparel. The mantles. The wimples. And the crisping pins. The glasses. The windshield. The back shield. Fine linen. The interior uh, upholstery. And the hoods. Pop the hood. Let me check your oil. And the veil. Why is it that verse 16 all the way down to 23, you have a lot of parts here that recognize as as a automobile? And what do most guys call their automobiles? They call it a she or her. And then when when you, when when you're selling a car or you got a bunch of guys who make left hand turns and tell you don't drink and drive and they put beer on their cars, stickers and all that. They always advertise with women. I mean, what a three-quarter undressed woman has to do with selling a, a make or model of a car, I don't know. We've got displayed this NASCAR for this racing, you know, and these cars and stuff like that in, in the store. And they got these little pictures of, of, of women with, with a checkered flag. You know, I'm like, that's wrong. Women don't do the checker flag, but, you know, to, to track men. And here you see a description of what it means. I don't know, but it matches the automobile. The name. And we'll go on, verse 24. And it shall come to pass. And instead of a sweet smell, 
is a woman she smells good. You got all kinds of uh, stuff to make her smell good. There shall be a stink. Do you remember Isaiah chapter 1? About the disease? When I had my boil, there was a stink when I had the running issue. Infection does not smell good. And he already said to us that, uh, where is it? Verse 17, it's going to give you a scab. It's an infection. Instead of a girdle, a body part, a body, uh, a covering, a rent. A rent is a, a tear. Instead of a girdle, and not, not a girdle, but a rent. Of what? A garment or the flesh? It doesn't say the garment, the, the girdle will be rent. It said instead of a girdle, a rent, a tear. You know, the Bible, and he rent his, his, his clothes that were on him and poured ashes and sackcloth. Instead of a girdle, I can't explain this, but read it. Instead of a girdle, a rent. And then he turned around, he said, I read verse 17 and discover their secret parts. So dresses have a slit. Some go as far as they can go without being a broken in half or a, not a skirt, just a piece of cloth. I, I don't know, but just interesting. Instead of a girdle, a rent. Instead of well set hair, boldness. Okay, so instead of the hair, there's going to be boldness. Instead of the girdle, minus the girdle is going to be a rent. Boldness for a woman would be either done literally, you do it yourself, and there's women today who shave their heads. They're disgusting looking. Nothing more disgusting as a person or a woman who, who purposely shaves her head. Then again, cancer treatment will make your, your hair go away. Coloring your hair too many times will make your hair go away. Instead of stomacher, that's an ornament or support of the breast. A bra. A girding of sackcloth. So the girdle's gone, the well hair is gone, the, the undergarments are gone. Replaced by a rent, baldness, and sackcloth. And burning instead of beauty. And a burning in the Bible can just be described as a uh, uh, burning oil, burning, I forget what it was, wasn't long. It's described as a wound. Job pictures Israel in tribulation, being from head to toe. Now if you want to see the picture, or what these women look like. And in Job chapter 2, I believe it is, when his buddies came up, they lift up their eyes and wept because they couldn't disguise who he was. That's, that's it of the women. 
They are degraded, disgraced, highly humbled, and if not of their own will. They're not get, They're not being. Their their secret parts are not being discovered because they want it to be. They're being. Uh, their clothes are being ripped off and raped, and it happened all through World War II with the Nazis. And their beauty and their ornaments gone. Walking highly now. A wreck, a mess. No ailment. Sick, Isaiah 1. Thy men. But this is not enough for the women to go through. Now the men, thy men shall fall by the sword. All right, these women are going to go through all this disgrading, all these troubles, all these heartaches, all these problems, because they're the rulers of the nation now. And they'll have no men to turn to. The Bible speaks of a time when there'll be, in the tribulation, a lack of men. It says in one place that a group of women will come to one man and say, Listen, we'll, we'll, we'll make our own bread. We'll do our own thing. Just let us be called by your name. And thy mighty men in the war. In the war. Doesn't say wars. The war. Man, if you were run that to World War II, that would fit. And her gates, Jerusalem, shall lament and mourn. And she, being desolate, shall sit upon the ground. Lamentations 2.10, Job chapter 2. When you get out of the will of God and what God has for you in your life, women were made to be a helpmeet for the man. And the bearer and care of children in the home. You go back to our Proverbs chapter 31 study when we did the women. You go find that video and that audio. And it'll show you a woman can work. I give you all the things that a woman can do. But it's not a secular kind of work. It's a housework. It's a, it's a job for the house. With the only one that's over her is her husband and no other man. Go back and get the study on Proverbs 31. The virtuous woman. I'm not saying she can't work. I mean, listen, that virtuous woman, she buys property. She's making things. She's selling things. The only boss she has is her husband. Here are women in chapter 3 of Isaiah and their bosses. Listen, where was Lot's wife? Those three angels, Abraham says, Sarah, prepare a meal. And he went to his men and he got a fatted calf and they dressed it and, and Sarah prepared the meal. The next chapter, they show up to Lot. Lot's making the meal. Where's Mrs. Lot? Probably a board some member somewhere. Probably in charge of something somewhere. The New Testament speaks of a woman. She's, she's to keep silence. She's not to have authority over a man. And Paul speaks, speaks about the beauty of her hair. And here we're reading in torments and troubles and disobeying God and not trusting God and going against God. We see baldness. And we see things that are related to Job and tribulation. Related to what looks like a kind of leprosy, uncleanness, a smelling, nakedness.
That's what you get when you do it your way. Women will be happy when they do and are in the position that God wants them to be in. And to make matters worse, in 25, he kills the men off. And the city is in destruction. My advice is you, find, read the Bible, study the Bible, and show what God wants for you and for your family and for your church, and do it. Get the junk out.